Kalam uh, was a Wi-Fi beast during the quarantine. Just had some yes. amazing, amazing results. Was seeded to get top eight at the Smash World Tour, right? Yes, he was. Um, unfortunately, I think that he did not end up... Uh, he, he was close, though. That's why I know. Yeah, but... So this is probably going to be a bit more of a slower matchup. Definitely. These are, like, you know, Villager, uh, traditionally a campy character. And Shy Guy, he's a... His pa I've told so many times, his patience is his strongest weapon. If he uses that, I'm sure he could be a lot of good players. Oh, and we're seeing that patience, the careful maneuvering. He is very much acknowledging the fact that Villager has all of these forward airs and back airs that can stuff out an approach. Ooh, and the counter on the projectiles, I wonder how that will work out in the future. Yeah, that counter does, of course, it always activates. Uh, so after a set amount of time, the hitbox will always come out. Uh, I'm not sure... Ooh, the, okay, so it looks like the side B snap gets rid of the Lloyd. That's actually very good to know. Wow. Does Shy Guy look prepared for this matchup? Like... Ooh. I mean, does Phantom have a... Uh... Uh, he does not play Villager, though. <laughs> <Okay. laughs> Although I will say Phantom definitely are more patient players as well, which is probably how Shy Guy became a patient player. Yeah. Ooh, that's the first Lloyd rocket that's connected. But we do have the, you know, the DLC finally coming through. One Winged Angel in effect here. Yes, the One Wing. I think this is like, this is, it's, I think it's too good, honestly, in this game. Look at that. I cannot believe it. He, he gets Whoa. the same, Oh, that was right by Pokeline, though, re getting the jump. But Sephiroth is so strong off stage. Like, you really can take his time getting back on stage. Throwing out these counters, the uppies, like. Oh, but <laughs> he might take his time, but eventually he needs to find his way Ooh, back. Ooh, that was a. Very risky dash attack. Oh, oh. Shy Guy mashes out! That's, that should let Pokemon know. Shy Guy will mash out your grab. He is very good at it, too. Ooh, so it looks like the forwarder can't guarantee punish the counter. Oh, that's so scary! Whoa, he just out of range! Barely! And he's alive still? This is a very close <laughs> match. Oh my god. Yeah, as soon as... Oh, okay. Oh, the sour spot on back here. This, this, this might be Shy Guy saving Grace. He's still wow. alive. Shy Guy, Shy Guy's living like he's playing a super heavy. But he's playing Sephiroth, oh, which is no. actually oh. a very light character. I mean, he's just doing a good job of only getting hit by the very sour spots. And yeah, wow. <laughs> this, is, this is awesome. Like, Shy Guy is just living. Like, he will, he will not lose his stock that easily. Although, he needs to get this... If he gets stuck off both lands, and the dash tag punishing the, the slingshots. Okay, pay, pay attention to the timer. We're already at four minutes. This wow. match could very <laughs> easily go to timeout. Shy Guy was probably hoping for a little bit of a, you know, some type of extra credit, but... Oh, that broke the counter, the tree. Huh. Does that mean Sephiroth can't counter anymore for now? Um, I genuinely do not know. We might see it. I mean, he's been using it to some effect. I don't think it's been like, you know, sort of the game changer. All right, great down to the ledge. Oh, this is gonna yeah. be big damage! How much damage? I, I, you just need to. You could maybe do some SDI, maybe? I'm not sure. I think he was trying to. I think he was trying to push I don't him. I saw Shy Guy nodding his head, like just giving up, kinda. <laughs> okay, the Pokemon Nairs. coming with the Nairs, but Sephiroth, you know, he has a sword. That's gonna, he's gonna, he's gonna beat that out. Okay. And there's Nair at the back here. That's been kinda Shy Guy's combo this set so far. And again, the four tilt on ledge. It's a great ledge trapping tool. You stand like at roll distance. Yeah, I don't think it's. I don't. I don't think it's worth it to try to two frame a uh, villager. I'm trying to destroy the tree so that the axe won't be an option. Of course, while that tree is out, villager has a very quick move with extreme power to it. And now Shy Guy has been in control. It feels like for such a long time here, but we're now getting to this stage where he needs to think about how is he going to get the kill. And we saw how earlier Shy Guy was able to survive for a really long time, but Pokalam definitely can do that himself. He can play slippery, evasive, and oh, Shy Guy is going to have to earn this kill if he can even find I it. I think both these players have to earn the kill on either of them. They're both very so good at surviving. It's another backer. He's we see Shy Guy go for that forward air off stage quite oh, no. frequently. Okay, that was a great mash. Pokemon did not let Pokemon get any charge on that smash attack. Oh, the fort's on the wrong direction. Okay, the backer giving off stage. He does have one wing and angel. Ooh. This is with that extra jump, he can be a little bit oh. more aggressive. Oh, that was great by Shy Guy, realizing that that was going to be unteckable. He goes for it. Yep. As you saw, there were red sparks there. No chance from Pokemon to get any type of tech there. And so now, 
okay, but he gets it again. All right, there's the smash. So Even Shy game. Guy, yeah, Shy Guy's been taking the first left stock the consistently. Oh, you are absolutely correct. There, like, I don't really see timeouts that often, and but this might be the first one I'm gonna see in, in this quarantine. Unless Pokemon could just go go off on him. Oh, <laughs> looking for some type of escape option, but Pokalam not actually giving it to Shy Guy. We now have this sort of back and forth match. But I the feel percent like one thing that's underrated when fighting Villager is using your attacks to beat out the Lloyd. Like, so, like Sephiroth has this big sword. Just, just hit the Lloyd with your attack. <gasps> what? <laughs> that was what just happened. I that was not something I was expecting at all. That was that was pretty cool, Falkland. You got I, it. You got I it. I don't think Shaga was expecting that. Also, the first thing he does is a lean over and yeah, he like, leans over and goes like, "What?" <laughs> that was instant too. That wasn't. There was no downtime there. And oh my god, he knew that. He knew that was a thing, and he kept it. He, he could have shown the end that. Of that. Yeah, he could have shown that at any point because that was something that Shaga was doing frequently. Pokemon knew that like that was a guaranteed punish on the counter. <laughs> oh man! And now Shy Guy all of a sudden has to the, the counter is no longer an option. Honestly, I don't blame Shy Guy. Like that was just not something most people would be ready for. Yeah, it's like it seems like most of the matchup knowledge he has is just. I think part of it's informed from you know about like six years of playing against Villager on and off. You know, considering that the character existed in Smash 4, and knowing his character's options, but I think that those tinier little character-specific interactions are something he's maybe a little bit less familiar with, as we just saw there, the difference that that can make. Honestly, like, like halfway through that first game, I thought Polkland would have to swap off Villager. Like, I felt like Shy Guy was such in control. So maybe he could just come back the second game. Yeah. Well, it's you were talking before about how his patience is one of his best suits. But when you lose a game like that after you've been ahead the entire time and been working so hard for five and minutes you straight, lose to something you thought was not even possible. Yes, that's the sort of thing that can chip away at your patience. So let's see whether or not Shy Guy can maintain that same careful play style that had been, Ooh. let's be real here, very Ooh. effective for him. Okay, he still can use the counter, but not in situations where Pokalam will be able to... Oh, there's the bowling ball. Yeah, you cannot you cannot just simply recover like straight up against the villager because the bull ball, bull ball will go through the Octo Slash. I really hope Shy Guy keeps his uh more morale when he's playing. Oh, he just strong. grabs him right out of it. This could be big. We haven't really seen that many uh successful edge guards from Shy Guy. Okay, right there, getting him back, gonna put him off stage. Honestly, one thing I'm afraid about is what if Pokemon pockets the stuff off side B? <laughs> like, I mean, it's getting kind of, it's getting more scary every so often for Shy Guy to press the special buttons. Yeah, and now this is the sort of style for uh, Pokemon that we know. He's starting to shut down his opponent's options really effectively. We do have that comeback mechanism built in for Shy Guy, but. Oh, I don't know if it's going to be enough at this point. I mean, 91%. Yeah, Pokemon really, like, I don't even think Pokemon is really that campy. He's kind of just, like, holding center stage right now. No, he's not being campy, but he's just shutting down options in a yes. way that he was not he's, earlier. He's just he's kind of covering options and riding the boy this time. <laughs> Please get the skill. Okay. <laughs> it would be, that would be really bad to your, how you feel if you get didn't punish that, but there's the back air. And Sephiroth is a pretty light character, as we're seeing right there. The sweet spot back air from Pokalem just ending his stock at about 100%. Yeah, you know, full stock lead. The one wing can save Shy Guy, or just Shy Guy is making some really strong plays. But I feel like I feel like Pokalem could definitely have this. Yeah, Sephiroth does have some cheeky things he can do. Sometimes, especially with one wing and angel, he can get shield breaks out of nowhere. And that sort and of thing will... Yeah, Sephiroth, not only does he have a move that is really good at shield breaking, but he can kill at zero for a shield break. Is that against all characters? Yeah, his uh, if he fully charges the neutral B and then combos it into an F smash, it will kill any character at zero. That's hilarious. And, and Sephiroth's down smash is like a shield pressure move. Oh, he had the read on the air dodge, but it's a dash attack. Honestly, okay, right now he's getting hit a little bit more, but for a while there, Shy Guy was able to put on consistent damage without really taking that much in turn. 
53%. If he's able to clean up the stock from Pokeland, which is very well within the realms of possibility. The, the four tilt. And he's just going in person. In person, swings his arm. This is my four tilt. This is my arm. There are many others like it, but this one is mine. <laughs> Ooh, yeah, Chinaka actually needs to make a few, a few good, or maybe like a few, like a couple, or maybe one play that, that would really put Pokemon in a bad spot, and it could definitely take this game. Yeah, and while this is the thing, like, Villager has great range with his forward air and back air, but one when it comes noticed, to the... Oh, he's oh, dead! Oh, he went straight up. I mean, what options did he have at that point? Alright, well, I mean, like, maybe stab the stage?